This is IMDL Media Day, Spring 2006, with Dr. Arroyo and Schwartz. My name is Andrew May. My robot's name is Ant. And it will avoid some objects, stay on a table, acquire a line, go look at a blue package, avoid it because it doesn't like that, get a red package, take it over to its ant hill, drop it off, and then I'm going to pick it up and let it free roam. So right now, as you can see, it's avoiding the object. It's using a sonar sensor by sending out an echo to it. I'm going to move this around a little bit here. So. Are you worried about it falling off the table? Oh, I'm very worried about it falling off the table. <laughs> <laughs> so, what it just did was acquire the line, and it used two Hamamatsu photo reflectors to do that. So, the same things that are inside of printers to detect whenever it gets out of paper. You couldn't see, but the LCD is saying blue is gross, and it is, I'll tell you that. This little guy likes red stuff. Now, it's moving around, it's following its trail here. What's it doing? Oh yeah, it's telling me what color it just saw. Three values, red, green, and blue, that it saw there. Now it's reacquiring the line. So let's say a hurricane comes in and it floods your house. It gets covered in mold. You want to get something out of it. Well, the idea is you can call on Ant to try and pick it up for you. That way you won't have to get anything in your lungs, right? Or let's say you break your arm and you have some food at the end of the table that you want to get at. You just program Ant to go grab it for you. Now it's saying red is delicious on that LCD. <laughs> and just like ants do in real life, it's following a trail. This particular one, it's not made out of chemicals, but it's just a black electric tape. And it distinguishes that as opposed to the white paper. All right, well that's pretty much it. So now it's just gonna kind of have a little fun. Uh, if you see the very back of the sonar sensors here, you'll see a flashing light. That's just telling you that it's sending a pulse, it's receiving, and it's working properly. The red light here is for the CMU cam. That's telling me that it's on. And the way it detects the edge is with this sensor up on top, which is an infrared detector. What that's doing is it's sending flashes of infrared light to the table and then receiving that back. And if at any point it doesn't receive the IR, then it sees an edge and it stops and turns around. So that's why it stays on the table? That's why it stays on the table or detects the edge, like I said. Okay, so you've got, tell me your sensors. All right, it has on the very top the IR sensor detecting the edges. Then going down, it has the CMU cam detecting the colors, the blue and the red, or no color at all. Continuing down, it has the sonar sensors avoiding the objects. And then at the very bottom, it has the digital infrared detectors, which are looking at the line. Okay, great job.